some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, uh, we find ourselves in Apple Valley, California with Chile de Castro, a.k.a. Delete Laws, a.k.a. That Guy with the Glasses. Uh, oops, wrong channel. Sorry, Doug Walker. Didn't mean to insult you. Well, at any rate, this supposed law scholar gets pulled over for using a cell phone while driving. Well then, I hope he at least is able to bring out his trifold and see it work in actual practice, if it works at all, instead of actually peddling it to his gullible followers. At any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, hey, make sure you guys film, man. Always film from a wide angle. It's the most important that you film from a wide angle because uh, they, my cameras will get knocked out of my hands if these guys attack me. So you got to make sure you always have it from a wide angle. So what's the deal, copper? I mean, like, how, how much longer do I got to stay here? Like, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't know why I'm, I'm here right now. Because I had my phone in my hand. That's the whole reason. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Pretty soon there'll be a thousand people watching. In just a couple seconds, there'll be a thousand people here. That's fine. So I literally had my phone in my hand. And so because I had my phone in my hand, the coppers pulled me over. And they came up to me and threatened to arrest me. They said they were going to arrest me if I didn't give them my ID for their unlawful detainment. Well, Mr. DeCastro, let me explain something to you. Something that your years of uh, legal scholarship probably never told you, if you're ever a legal law scholar anyway. You see, we have something called the Tenth Amendment, and cell phones are not covered within the Constitution. Therefore, the states can create laws based on the management of cell phones and vehicles. So you know what? If you want to turn into a Supreme Court case, go right ahead. But you'll probably end up losing anyway. Just like every other lawsuit. Nothing but a big fat L on your record. And this guy, by the way, he's got a blue terror flag on right there. You see that blue striped terror flag? It's right there. I mean, you know, they banned those in L.A., right? That's, this is in L.A. And they right. banned them in L.A. They banned them in LAPD. No, what, what? The chief of police banned it in his station. Right. LAPD so how? LAPD. Okay, that's fine. I, I'll take the facts as you said them. Okay. But why do you think he banned it? How come? I don't know, and I don't care. Honestly. Because it's a gang symbol. Because you, you, can't, you can't uphold your oath to the Constitution while at the same time you're flying a gang symbol. But I guess you didn't know that. I didn't. Well, now you know that the majority... Well, I how, apologize for not going to law school like you did, sir. Put a... one in the chat if you guys understand that that's a gang symbol if you agree that what he's wearing on his jersey right here is a gang symbol 250 people there'll be a thousand here pretty quick that's okay sir for what i mean a minute ago they threatened to attack me and take me to the dungeon if i didn't give them my driver's license so i got ready to fight these pigs because i am not going to a dungeon they're not dragging me off cage because they want to it's not happening and I'm, i've told you guys this before i'm never getting shackled with my arms behind my back ever again it's never happening you got to arrest me, copper? I'm more than willing to go with you. You say you got to go with me? Okay, I'll put my phones in my pocket and I'll walk away with you. You're on camera right now, aren't you? That's fine. Am I on camera? Are you on camera? Am I on camera? You're being recorded. Okay, so I'm being recorded right now. So that would mean that at 48 years old, I would have to decide that I want to be a felon if I didn't agree to go with them. So would you be willing if I said, hey, if you got to arrest me, I'm willing to go with you. Would you be willing to just let me get in the front seat of the car and you could take me to where you got to go? So what I'm saying is, is the, the, the torture cuffs you use are torture. They're, okay. they're always torture. Okay. And what I've said to my people is that I will not go in torture cuffs again, because if I break the law and you have to arrest me, I'm more than willing to go with you. What I'm asking you- Have you been arrested before, sir? I've been arrested 20 or 30 or 40 times. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, yes. Now I see your issue with handcuffs. It's because you are wanting to be more comfortable when you get arrested from this point on. It's not about the cuffs themselves. It's all about your comfort level, considering you've been arrested 40 times. 
Well, I'll tell you something. They are certainly not the feelings police, and they certainly aren't the comfort police either. Being arrested is not supposed to be comfortable. Oh, yeah. E each one was wrongful arrest. I have no felonies on my record. I was arrested and dismissed a dozen times before there was a camera phone because when you call coppers pigs, they get all offended and they arrest you for no reason. And then the charges get dropped before there was a camera phone. Okay, so you got a criminal record that dates back far beyond the year 1997, which is when camera phones were just starting to come out. Okay, so you are a uh, admitted criminal scumbag. You are a professional idiot. I'm not offended. Well, you're wearing a blue terror flag, bro. That doesn't mean I'm offended by what you well, said. Yeah, but I'm offended, and the people here are offended. Uh, I guess everybody has their... So why don't you stop wearing a terror flag? Because it's part of my uniform. It is not way. part of your uniform. That's a terroristic flag. Why are you wearing it? It is not. Why are you wearing that? Because it's a part of my uniform. Right now. Put a one in the chat if you see that flag as a terroristic symbol. Put a one in the chat. We Look, look, look. Look how many people see that as a terroristic symbol. What's your problem? It's okay. Everybody has... It's a not okay. You're, sp you're, pa you're a public servant. Exactly. I am. You're paid to protect and serve. You are not paid to wear a gang symbol that people are afraid of. Your opinion, sir. It's not my opinion. It's the opinion of thousands of people. They're welcome to their own opinion. What's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Franco. Officer Franco, which yes. police department? Apple Valley District Police Department. Apple Valley Police Department. Officer Officer Franco? Sergeant, yes. Captain, Lieutenant, which kind of? I said Officer first. Officer. Frank. Officer. Hey, uh, Chili, I got a scenario for you. Say you are on a boat in the middle of the ocean and it was start and it started to sink and the only person available is a uniformed officer with that very flag on his uniform. Now he reaches out his hand to uh, save you from the freezing water. Are you going to slap his hand away and say, no, I don't get rescued by pigs? Because I know you said at one point that you would never, ever ask a cop for help. So, at that point, would you ask for help? Or would you rather shed your mortal coil than ask for help? So, did you get a supervisor out here? No. I did request one, didn't I? Well, I'm here. Well, you're not a supervisor. I'm you're, here you're, right now. I need a supervisor. Well, Dude, is it your policy when I ask for a supervisor to bring one out, yes or no? No, it's not. It's people. it's not? No, it's not. Okay. So you don't have to bring a supervisor out here? No. Okay, so then I just have to deal with the lowest rung of education? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Did you graduate high school? If that's what, how you feel. Did you graduate college? I did. You did? What's your degree in? I graduated in high school, yes, and I have a training as a police officer. Yes. Training as a police officer? I graduated the academy. <laughs> he graduated from the academy. 500 people in the room now. That's okay. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, don't, I can't give you a second. I'm gonna go running off. I'm gonna go running off. I'm gonna run away, copper. I'm gonna run away. You kids should be filming this. Every time you see cops, you should be filming. I'm not kidding. You should always film cops. Always, always, always. I mean, look at all the kids. None of them have phones out. You film cops at all times. Well, Chili, uh, me personally, I just can't film cops all the time because, you know, I've got an actual job that keeps me busy. And yes, Chili, that is a job that does not involve YouTube. You, on the other hand, have got nothing better to do than film cops all day long, which I find to be, well, rather sad and pathetic because, you know what, I'm sure those 40-something arrests have really caused you to, well, not be uh, eligible for a lot of employment, which that does tend to explain a lot about you. See, why do you think it is I tell people to film cops? How come? Why you think that is? Just curious. How come you think it is I tell people to film cops? Oh, I know the exact reason why you like to tell people to film cops. Because you particularly are an anarchist and you have demonstrated that in several of your videos that I've watched. Because you believe that there should be no laws at all. And in your little fantasy world, things work out so perfectly because there are no laws. But you know what? In the real world, laws exist to keep people safe, property safe, and, well, just to keep things 
a tad more balanced out there. So go back to your fantasy world by eating the nearest available lead paint chips. Because the rest of us don't need you. Because you're dangerous, bro. That's your opinion. Okay, so if I said I'm not going to give you my license for holding my phone, what would happen next? I just, like I said, kept what, asking you for your license. But what would happen next, though? If I said I'm not giving you my license for holding my phone in my hand, what would happen next? If you what fail would, to identify yourself, that's a crime. If I fail to identify myself, it's a crime. But I didn't commit any crime. I was just holding my phone. Did you not acknowledge just earlier that you did have your phone in your hand while operating? Oh, so California has made it a crime to hold my phone, but it's not a crime. So therefore, you are verifying that you had your phone in your hand. So my crime. core criminal conduct is holding a phone? Which oh, you are twisting the narrative again, dude. You are so blatantly obvious about it. He said it was uh, holding a cell phone while operating your vehicle. You are saying it's just the fact that you are holding the cell phone. See, you are trying to play the victim here, twisting the words. That may work for your gullible audience, but it sure as hell won't work for anybody who's observant. It's a legal, uh, uh, which is a legal stop in the state of California. What's the mens rea of that? Was it willingly, knowingly, negligently? Or... So you were holding your phone. Which is it? Reckless? When you were holding your phone. I was recklessly holding my phone. Man, I was holding my phone, guys. They, 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 they got to get me, man. He's got his blue terror flag on. He's going to get me for holding my phone. What's my core criminal conduct? Holding a phone? So I'm just can, asking. You can twist words however Twist you words my ass. Right. You're the tyrant upholding the idea that holding a phone is a criminal act. It takes a man to do that. You're the man doing it. I mean, pathetic, bro. I think right. more, just so you know, I think more of you than you think of you because I would never do what you're doing. And then I tell you that's a blue terroristic striped flag and you just go, that's my opinion. Dude, there's right now, now there's 550 people in here. It's the opinion of thousands of people that that's a terrorism symbol. But yet you're still wearing it. Why? Because I can. Because you can. Because I can. Wow. 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 So go back to the original question. If I said I would surrender, would you still try to put my hands behind my back and torture? I'm just, oh, we're not talking about it? Of course, it's the typical response by most coppers. I'm asking you, if I said I'm willing to go, he's got a thin blue line on his mace or whatever that is. What is this one right here, sir? What is that? Is that your, is that a flashlight or mace? You got a thin blue line on that one too, huh? I do. You just don't get it, do you? No, sir. You just... You we're just done. you just don't get. We're oh, we're done. We're done. You were done because we're done. you can't match intellect with me. That's why we're done. <laughs> of course we're done talking about it because you're wearing a gang symbol. You know, if I was wearing a red bandana, would you say that's a gang symbol? No. What about a blue bandana? Chili, you talk about your intellect, but you have to be one of the dumbest people I see on YouTube because that trifold that you uh, are so proud of. I mean, you should really watch Frauder the Reaper's takedown of that piece of garbage. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and leave it in the description box below. So go ahead and subscribe to Frauder the Reaper and watch that beautiful takedown of that particular pile of garbage he likes to peddle. <laughs> good thing you guys got me for holding my phone in my hand. It's a good thing, man. Good thing you got me, dude. What's the core criminal conduct? What's the mens rea? What is it? Just wondering. <laughs> 600 people. It'll just keep growing, bro. But earlier he told me they were gonna, they would arrest me for not identifying. And I said, I better go live on this because if I do get arrested, I wanna make sure somebody sees it so that maybe, just maybe, I don't get killed in a dungeon. Maybe. What do you got, copper? You got a ticket over here? What? <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. I've identified myself. You know I got a channel with thousands of videos, but yet I'm still you're still afraid like I can't walk up to a car. Like I have thousands of videos. I have almost 100,000 subscribers on this one channel. But yet I can't walk up to a cop car cuz you're scared for officer safety? Then why can't I walk up to a car and just ask him what he's doing? Hey, Mr. Great Law Scholar, uh, have you ever heard of the uh, ad populum fallacy? Well, let me explain it to you. It 
basically states that just because you think an idea is popular doesn't mean that it is the correct idea. So subscriber count really has no bearing on whether you are right or not. Just let that sink in to your pathetic little brain. What's that? I told you to stay over here. But you don't have dominion over me. You're doing a traffic stop, bro. Which you don't, means you're detained. Which means I'm detained. As at this point. And what does I that tell mean, you though? Not to come over here, you will not come over. What here. does detainment mean? It means you're not free to leave. You understand that. And if I tell you not to come over, you won't. That's incorrect. Okay. You don't get. Into, okay, so this so dunce, this. This dunce cap this. pig we're doesn't understand. Go he doesn't understand. Detainment is not dominion. Detainment means I agree to stay in this area right here. It does not mean he gets dominion over me. You dumb pig. That is not how it works at all. You get to detain me, which means I agree to stay here. Now you can pat me down for weapons if you didn't know I didn't show that I don't have any weapons. But now that I've showed my midways, you can't Terry stop me. Do you know that? This you can't Terry. Stop. Oh, no, no, but, but you would do a Terry pat down and a Terry detainment if you thought I had weapons, which I just showed you that I don't. Did you know that? So now if you try to cuff me up, that'd be illegal detainment and I could file a 1983 against you. You know, I'm going to require citations on every piece of BS that you just spit out of your mouth. Because, you know, you are perhaps one of the most untrustworthy individuals that I have ever seen on YouTube. So, at this point, I'm going to have to say you're full of BS on all those things that you said until proven otherwise. I'm just telling you, because you're, you're so dumb, dude. You glad, didn't... <laughs> you're, I'm glad you went to law school, sir. I didn't go to law school. I'm just a dunce cat, bro. But I did read up on my, my rights here. I do know a couple of things. I do teach to thousands and thousands of people how to make sure that the pigs can't hem you up for no reason. Your Apple Valley Police Department's about to get called a few, few, few phone calls. It's fine. I'm just telling you, you're about to get a few phone calls. You know, I, I had my phone in my hand. I was actually... This piggy right here, uh, he was hiding on the side of the road. So when I drove by him, I pointed my phone at him. And so then he turned around and pulled me over because you got to keep track of these piggies. You got to keep track of the piggies. You got to keep track of them. 700 people. Didn't I say a thousand? I said a thousand people would come, right? I guess we're just at 700. I mean, so what's it going to get to get you to take the terror flag off? I mean, I mean, is there... A it, you want to do a GoFundMe? Want to raise you a thousand bucks? Will you take off the, will you take off the terror flag then? Yeah. So what's it going to take to get rid of the terror flag and the blue stripe you have on your, on, your, on, your, on your vest there? Okay, how much would it take for us to have your mouth sewn shut so we don't have to listen to those uh, annoying sounds coming out of it? Because I'm sure we can all get together and uh, get a GoFundMe going so we can at least get this project going. And let me, let me ask you a question. Do you think you could detain me without all your gear and without another dude here? You could not. You could not detain me. And you and him together could not detain me. It would take another person and you would have to use weapons to detain me. Because I'm not just going to put in torture cuffs. That's not how it works, bro. You don't just get to torture me because I held my phone in my hand. So think of this dichotomy. I was holding my phone in my hand. This pig can arrest me, put me in torture cuffs. Because I had my phone in my hand. I equal torture. Yeah, we looked up. What's that? What's that? I wasn't talking. You're doing a great job, man. You're doing a great. It's a good thing you got me with my phone in my hand. There's no other crimes going on in Apple Valley. There's nothing else going on. There's no, nowhere else to go. There's no one else to investigate. I, I did have my phone. I did point it at the copper. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he's got better things to do. But I'm sure the real question is here, what, do you have anything better to do than act like an annoying jackass all the time? But you got a camera on. I'd be more than willing to go with you. If you said you're under arrest, I would just go with you. Oh, is my ticket? Yes, sir. Okay. This is for the cell phone use. Oh, for my cell phone usage, yeah. for pointing my phone at you? Yeah, for being distracted, looking at me instead of the roadway while, you're, while you have your phone out, and driving and operating a motor vehicle. Okay. 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 So you're going to give that to me? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll take it. You want to sign? 
Up, oh, you need me to sign that? Yes, sir. So I, I'll put my signature as under duress. Okay. Don't put your actual signature. You sign it under duress because he's forcing me to sign this. If I don't sign this, then there, maybe there's another statute or code that would allow him to arrest me for not signing a ticket. So you sign it under duress. You got, you got more? You don't want to keep that? I do not. I mean, you never know. I'm a journalist, but I could be a secret terrorist. I could be secretly putting everything I do on film, but then have some sort of terror. Okay, so let me see this here real quick. Okay, so where, where do I sign it? You're in the red box, please. Under duress. I signed it under duress. Yeah, you try that here in Florida, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble doing that because the signature on the ticket has to match the signature on your license. So please, if you live in Florida, don't take one word of this idiot's advice because it's only going to work against you. I was, I didn't, we didn't quite get to a thousand copper. We're just at 850, but I said we'd get to a thousand. I guess we just got to 850. So you got me, man. You guys got me. You got me on a crime, copper. You got me, dude. I'm in big trouble here. I'm in big trouble. They got me for a cell phone. I had a cell phone in my hand. Now, do you feel like a man? Did you feel like you wasted your day today? Like, I, do not. I mean, you really think this is a good job what you just did today? You got mad because someone pointed a camera at you and you pulled me over to give me a ticket for holding a phone. And that's a criminal act. That's a, that's a, that's a illegal act. All right, sir, we have a great rest of your day. Please don't use your cell phone while operating your motor vehicle. I'm going to film you guys the rest of the time I'm here. Oh, you can film Everywhere you, you go, right. I'm going to be right Perfect. behind you right. filming you. I appreciate you. Thank you. You guys are now my interest. And so I'm a journalist. So I'll be filming you the whole time I'm here. Perfect. Awesome. Do anything to get rid of this terror flag, All bro. Right. Please get rid of the terror flag. All right, sir. You have a great day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Right. Yeah. Here's your license. Here's your license. Oh, you're going to give me my license? That's great. There you go. I don't want to keep it. You sure? You got me, copper. You got me. <laughs> well, now, there you have it, folks. The idiot convention has struck again. And you know what? I am not going to do another video on this guy for a while because you know what? I don't feel clean after having watched one of his videos. So in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.